Welcome everybody to another Evoto tutorial video. This tutorial is going to be dealing with the AI color adjustments. More specifically, this is going to be dealing with using reference photos to create your own color matching looks. If you look on the right of the screen, we have AI color adjustments. We're going to click on the arrow on the right. You'll notice it brings us to the recommended color adjustments. I'll just tap on some so you can see how they apply. And you'll notice it is doing color adjustments. But this tutorial is going to be dealing with how to upload your own images for color referencing. There are two ways to enter this. First, I'm going to close this just so you can see. If we hover over create look for color matching, watch what happens. We get two options, upload for color matching or create color match. Again, that is also within this tab as well. So we're just going to start here and we're going to upload for color matching. I already have a folder with reference images. So we're going to start out with one reference image. I'm going to click on this one. You'll notice that it took this image that I selected and it color matched our current image to this color match reference image. If we click on the image, you can see it a little larger. Notice how the sky changed. Notice how the color of the grass changed. Notice how the skin tones changed. You can see here the skin tones now match the skin tones on the woman in this photo. The colors of the greens match the color of the greens. Everything changed to match the new image. One advantage that Evoto has over any other color matching program is that Evoto has built in masks. Evoto just doesn't create an overall color for the entire image. It is actually able to match the skin to the skin. It's able to match the sky to the sky. It's able to match a tree to a tree. Other programs just create an overall. Evoto goes many steps further than that. Remember, Evoto has great object detection. It has great skin detection. It has great person detection, face detection. It has a lot of detections built in. So Evoto used all those masks with their color match in mind. Let me show you the before and after this image. Let me bring it closer to the reference image. And here's another image I'm going to use the same picture for. Click on the picture again. And here's the before and the after. Again, notice how the tree matches perfectly with the tree in this image. The greens are the same. Little brown parts here, they're the same. The sky, if you notice up in this area up top, it's the same color. There's a little more blue in here. It's harder to see. That matches the blue here. The skin tones match perfectly. The grass matches perfectly. You see this tree here? Voto's drawing on this for the grass color. You see it's a perfect match. It's a really great job. Now underneath the full image, you do have some different sliders. You have the overall amount. If we turn this off to zero, of course, that's the before. We can slowly bring in the new color match. You also have the tone of the image. And you have the color of the image. Keep in mind, this amount here is a blend of the two underneath. So if we turn this off, these won't do anything now. However, Voto does go again a step further. Underneath the local, you'll notice that we have person and background. There are many categories of links underneath the person. If we click on the person link, it's going to select the entire person. The face skin all the way through everything you see here. If we lower the color, you'll notice the color, we lower the tone, just changes on the people. They're actually back to the original image. And it also helps you see the mask that Evoto is using. So let's bring that back in. We can also go to the background. Let's take down the tone and color. This will bring us back to the original. See how now only the people are changing? But if needed, in certain cases, we can go even further. Let's unclick the link on the person. 
Let's say we just want to deal with the clothing themselves. Now watch, we can remove the tone and the color from the clothing. This is just affecting the clothing. So let's select just the face skin. This is something you wouldn't normally want to do in an image like this, but we can remove the color and we can remove the tone from just the face skin. Of course, that doesn't look great. Let's turn that back on. But you can also individually link items, such as let's say the hair and the clothes. We want those two linked together. So we go over, hover over hair, and that is now linked to clothes. Now if we change the tone, it just did the hair and the clothing. These are individual adjustments that you can only do with any photo. No other program offers this. From here, let's go back to the reference images. I'm gonna start by uploading an image for color matching. I already uploaded this one, so let's upload another one. You'll see it automatically adjusts this image to match the new one we uploaded. But I'm gonna go ahead and upload all my reference images for now. Again, you have to go one by one. Now we can choose these individual pictures to give ourselves a color match. And once again, if we click on the image, it makes it larger. So here you can see how it matched. Notice the tone of the clothing is almost identical. Tone of the skin, identical. Notice now how this tree here and in the grass turn more brown like this image. Let's pick another one. Notice the greens match again, the skin tones match again. Now let's pick a different image. Once we have an image picked, we already have these uploaded. Now we can simply click on an image to reference. Notice how much the greens now match. Look at the skin tone match. It's almost perfect. Notice even the trees outside the window, how much they match. Notice how the sky now matches so much better too. And here's our before and our after. So you can see how much it really changes the image to match. And again, we can pick another reference image as well. See the change, the skin color, the sky matches, the overall tones match. Notice how the whites in the dress match. Again, notice the greens, the sky, the skin tones. See how the legs match? Everything matches so well. So that's dealing with the upload for color matching. Now another part of AI color matching is create color match from preview. What this means is the preview that you see on screen. Once we click on create color match from preview, it will create another color match using this image on screen. So let me show you how this works. We're gonna click create color match from preview. It's taking this image and you'll notice it goes into my looks. Now we have another reference image that we can use. So I'm gonna apply this image to let's say this picture down here. This works really great to balance out images taken let's say on the same day and some of the images are a little bit different than others. So this next section in the tutorial will show you how to use that to your advantage as well as a tip that you might not think about. So here's some other ways to use the AI color matching from a photo. It doesn't just apply to taking colors from a completely different image and applying it to a group of photos. It can also be used to fix images that are very similar and in the same group. Let me show you what I mean. We have these four images here. They were all taken outdoors. You'll notice that one of the images, this one, the sun was out. And with the sun out, you'll notice that it casts different colors throughout the image. You can see the difference in the grass and also notice the difference in the sky, the building colors, the chairs, the dress is different color, the hair, the highlights, the clothing. 
everything's a bit more warm because of the sun. So what do we do to match these images better? Here we have create color match from preview. This is the preview that we're looking at on screen. So here's our preview of the image. We're gonna select create color match from preview. It's gonna take this image and create a color match. Now it's created the color match here and we're gonna apply it to this image. You'll notice how much it changed the photo. Let me show you the before and after. And look how much better it matches these images. Again, this is the before and after. Look at the difference in the hair alone and look at the difference in the black suit as well as the dress. Now here's another tip and something to be aware of. Let's say we decide to take a different image in this group. Let's say this image here. And we want to match these images to this image. Again, what we're going to do is start by creating a color match from preview. Once that's created, we can apply that to the other images. I'm going to apply it to these two images for now. But here we come back to the original issue between these two images. You'll notice again how the sun has affected the grass. Some of the other tones have been fixed because they do match this image. But some things are not fixed, such as the grass. So what we're going to do now in order to fix that is we have to take this new image we created here, which is this image being matched to this image. We're now going to do the create color match from preview again. Create this. And then we're going to be using this new preview to fix the grass here. And there we go. And now you'll see how much better they match. And now that we've created this image here, we can apply that to the other images in the group. Now this image matches really well with these images here. Now I'm gonna show you a quick way to apply the color preset to all your photos. Something simple you might wanna do is you might wanna just highlight all your images. Notice how they all turn white. From here, you can select an image you want to apply the preset to. Notice how on the bottom here, this is yellow. We're going to apply the preset to this image. Let's start with this preset. And now I decided I want to try a different one instead. And now I want to apply this preset to all the images. The yellow one, consider this now to be your sync picture. Everything else that's highlighted in white will sync to this yellow image. We'll hit sync. And now all the images have synced to that one image. And you applied your color preset to all the pictures. And if you do want to reset this, I want to show you something. You can also reset the master image. And then you can once again sync that to all the other photos. Now they've all been reset. So that's your tutorial on using reference images for AI color adjustments. I will be checking the comments below. And if there are questions, I will try to answer them the best I can. In the meantime, use a photo and make some amazing art.